Hi, I'm Rich and welcome back to my Minnesota Native Plant channel. Today we've got a, a beautiful uh, early bloomer here uh, in the morning, the Western Spiderwort. Um, beautiful bluish purple uh, flowers, nice little gold centers there. They love to, uh, uh, they'll attract a lot of bees and butterflies. Opening up uh, in the morning, uh, usually by the afternoon they've closed up and um, this is a plant that gets about 12 to 18 inches tall, um, has leaves that look very much kind of like a daylily. Um, I guess my plants are maybe about 24 inches. This is a plant that uh, most of June and July will bloom. Uh, after that it uh, tends to go dormant. You want to put it with some companion plants that will grow up around it and kind of mask what it looks like uh, late in the year when it looks a little tired. Um, you know, well-drained soil, full sun, uh, a little bit of light shade. Uh, it, it can grow in some heavy, heavier soil, but uh, you know, well-drained soil uh, with full sun, it really does well. Um, you know, it, it's out in prairies, on the edges of uh, woodlands. Uh, it, you know, it, it can handle a drought real well. Just a real nice uh, plant, especially in the morning. Boy, a lot of blue, a lot of purple. Let's see if we back up here and see the whole plant. Just a beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful bloomer, especially in the morning. Lots of bees and butterflies out uh, enjoying it. Uh, if you're looking for something to add to your uh, prairie garden, this might be a good choice uh, to accent some other things. The uh, Western Spiderwort. And there we have the bloom again. Thanks for, uh, for checking out my channel and uh, have a great day.